Doctors again. We're back today with Dr. Nathanson this time. This is his first interview. We are going to be talking about cosmetic dentistry today. So flip around here and say hi, Dr. Nathanson. Hello, everyone. It's thank you for here. your time. Well, thank you. It's hard to get Dr. Nathanson's time, so you guys take notes. Uh, what type of cosmetic dental treatments do we offer here? Well, we offer the full range of cosmetic dental services, everything from teeth whitening to veneers to cosmetic crowns to cosmetic orthodontics. And it really depends on what kind of uh, issue a patient has, what they do, don't like about their smile. Uh, we can help them uh, fix whatever it is that they don't like. Excellent. So what kind of conditions can we treat with cosmetic dentistry? Well, most of the time people are concerned with the color of their teeth and the fact that their teeth aren't straight. Those are the two uh, issues that uh, people uh, complain about the most when it comes to their smile. The uh, tooth whitening treatments can uh, make teeth uh, considerably whiter in, in a lot of cases. Uh, if there's difficulty in actually whitening the natural tooth structure or if the teeth have a lot of old fillings on them and such, Sometimes we may recommend doing uh, some kind of porcelain veneers or crowns on the teeth. It really depends what they need, but if the uh, color is the issue, then whitening is usually the uh, answer. When the issue is the fact that the teeth are either crooked or uh, some, in some cases too crowded or in some other cases too far apart, spaced uh, so that the patient doesn't like the gaps in their smile, Usually we'll look at doing some kind of an orthodontic solution to that, uh, whether it's Invisalign or six month smiles. Uh, but um, you know, if it's crowding, then we can get some really, really great results. With the spacing, we can get results. And uh, if the teeth are crooked, usually it just takes a few months to get them straightened out. Excellent. Uh, out of all of those things you just talked about, what would you say are maybe the most common one or two procedures? Well, we do a lot of teeth whitening. Uh, we do some cosmetic crowns, but uh, Invisalign is very, very popular among uh, patients, especially uh, patients who had orthodontics when they were younger, didn't wear their retainers, which is most of us. So, you know, you're part of a very big club if that's, <laughs> you know, that describes your situation. Uh, but uh, after the uh, orthodontics that they had, their teeth relapsed and they got crooked again. So as adults, we can uh, help them with that. The uh, Invisalign is really good because it doesn't use braces at all. It doesn't use brackets or wires. Uh, it's a set of clear aligners where the patients can take them off to eat and brush and floss their teeth. It's very easy to maintain. Um, they can see what their teeth are going to look like in advance uh, when we do what's called a clean check. Uh, and the Invisalign company is very, very good with having a computer simulation of where the teeth are going to move with the Invisalign treatment, and it can also give an approximation of how long the treatment's going to take. Uh, the other um, uh, treatment system is Six Month Smiles, which uh, they are brackets and wires, but they're clear brackets with tooth colored wires, so it's very uh, difficult to see them from a distance. Most people who use Six Month Smiles you can't tell that they have braces. The advantage to that is that it uh, works a little bit faster than Invisalign and also there are some situations that we can treat a whole lot better with uh, six month smiles than we can with Invisalign. Excellent and we did just for the viewers watch, watching now we did do a little interview with Sabrina about Invisalign so if you want more information please check that out. Uh, moving back to you, Dr. Nathanson, let's say somebody comes in, they get whitened, they get straightened. How would they maintain the beauty of their smile after completing their treatment? Well, uh, the first thing is that we want to make sure that they get regular dental visits uh, here at the office, uh, either three months or six months, uh, whatever uh, we decide uh, along with the patient and the hygienist is going to be appropriate. Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, of course, brushing and flossing is, you know, I mean, we've been talking about that for decades, but still the go-to uh, maintenance treatment for uh, any kind of dental situation, and uh, including cosmetic dentistry. If the teeth were just whitened, then uh, you are going to want to do a whitening touch-up at least once a month. Uh, 
our system where we have the in-office uh, coupled with the take-home trays, you would have the trays and periodically uh, you'll want to put those trays in for uh, just a few hours or overnight uh, for one night each month. Uh, you know, we can provide the gel for you and um, touching up is a good way to keep the white smile white. Excellent. So tell everybody what makes coming to Nathanson Dental unique. Well, we always put the patient first. We want to make this the best dental experience you've ever had in your life. And towards that end, we've got a lot of perks. We've got massage pads on our chairs. We've got TVs in the ceiling where you can watch Netflix movies through earbuds. We have freshly baked chocolate chip cookies every day. You can come in in the morning, you'll smell chocolate chip cookies instead of a dental office. But the thing that really makes us unique and special are the people here. Uh, everyone here goes really out of their way to make this the best dental experience that a patient has ever had. And that's our focus. That's one of our core values. It's our most important core value. I realize people have a lot of choices when they uh, choose a dental office uh, for their care and for their families. And we want to make this a special place where they feel that they're going to come here, they're going to get the best dental experience from people who really care about them. All right, last question. What do you enjoy most about cosmetic dentistry? I love seeing a person smile when they haven't been able to do that for years. And whenever we do a cosmetic case, that's the reaction that we most uh, often get. The patient will look in the mirror, a lot of times they'll start crying, and we'll start crying too <laughs> because they're seeing themselves smile with a smile that they like for the first time possibly ever in their lives. Uh, we've had people where it's completely changed their lives. People have been able to get new and better jobs because they're not um, hindered by their appearance. They can smile, they can show their teeth. I, I once did a set of veneers for a young woman who was getting married and uh, her mother was looking at the pictures and she said, you know, the, the, you, you look different in these pictures. And she says, you can see my teeth, mom. I'm smiling, showing my teeth for the first time. That's amazing. And that is a perfect segue. I'm going to flip back to me. We are actually giving away a smile makeover to a very deserving bride or groom. If you haven't seen it on our Facebook already, check out our event for Smile Makeover. There's a form you fill out. It's very easy. Submissions are open through the end of July. So good luck, everybody. Thank you for watching. As always, post your questions or comments, and we will gladly get back to you. Have a great afternoon.